Paul said. And all of a sudden, you see, many of the people who are in power, they are the ones who are rich and they are wealthy because the power is consuming the wealth. But it is supposed to be a knowledge-based economy that will drive the country. Go to Dr. Congo. We call it Democratic Republic of Congo. And you see the mansion of Mobuto Sesesoko, the former president. And you get to understand that wealth is not the answer. Knowledge is the answer. What Africa is doing, working with the head, as I'm saying, instead of looking for knowledge, relevant knowledge, and by virtue of that, we will become powerful. That was what Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was preaching. And when we are powerful, wealth will be automated. We don't want to go through that. What we are doing today in this continent is we are looking for wealth straight away. And everywhere we go, we are looking for money. And the people out there, they are willing to give us loans. The more loans we collect, the more we impoverish the African continent. The more loans we collect, the more we are saying that our future generation is coming to be born in debt. As I'm standing, I have not gone for any loan. But by, by virtue of the debt of my country, I am a debtor. By virtue of the debt of my country, I am owing. And the amount is not going down anytime soon. It's rising every day. What it means is that my children will owe more than me. And my grandchildren will come and be in more debt than me. And the distance, the gap between the rich and the poor countries will continue to widen. Because if we don't want to go through this simple principle, economics, one, two, three, get the relevant knowledge. And by virtue of that, you will become powerful. And when you are powerful, you will get wealth. We have started only looking for wealth. And what is even sad, you go to church, right? Or any religious program. And the fact that you are very rich, you are respected, you are glorified. Nobody cares the source of the wealth. But this wealth, if it is not based on knowledge, the power will consume it. This wealth, if it is not based on knowledge, power will consume it. Wealth without knowledge is not sustainable. Wealth without knowledge is not sustainable. Ladies and gentlemen, Africa, rise and walk on your legs and not on your head. Let's stop borrowing. And let's create that innovation through the search for the relevant knowledge. And we can be powerful. And at the end of the day, wealth will come. And I'm sure in the next 10 to 20 years, the West will be coming back to Africa for loans. And that is when we have said that we found the right way to go. Apart from that, we will continue to borrow. And when we borrow, we spend. And when we spend, we impoverish future generations. And the poverty becomes a cycle. It is so cyclical and sickening. Break it, Zambia. Break it, Ghana. Break it, Nigeria. Break it, South Africa. Break it, Egypt. Break this cycle of poverty. And let's stop going for loans. Thank you so much.